Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm gonna to show you how to keep consistent spacing on your deck boards when you put them down. Sometimes the board will warp one way or the other. And I'm gonna show you how to straighten that and make it easy for you to keep that consistent quarter inch spacing. I'll also show you a little jig I made. And I'll also put a link in the description um, for the rafter tape that I put on top of all the uh, deck joists and that actually keeps the rot from forming between the gaps where garbage gets down there and holds moisture. And then I'll also put a link in the description for the countersink bit that I used. It makes it very easy to keep your countersink on your screw the right depth so that uh, none of the screws stick up above the deck and it is so easy to use. So I'll leave that link. So hang tight and we'll get started. So this deck is 16 feet wide, so these boards are 16 feet, and you'll see the little jig here that I made. It's just a couple pieces of quarter inch plywood with a single screw into a one by one. And then that block is the block that I am going to, it's just a piece of scrap wood. I uh, screw it up against the joist there, and then I grab my Wonder Bar, and uh, it'll pry between the block and your deck board, and you can pull it up tight against that jig, you can see where I check it there, so I make sure it's snug. I'll drill a countersick hole, and then I'll um, get my screw in there. And then once I get the screw in the first one, then I can release that uh, pressure on that wonder bar because it'll stay there. I uh, finish my other screw, and then I'll go on down and uh, do the other end, countersink those. See how easy that countersink works? It stops it just perfectly. So all of your countersinks are consistent. And then I, I'll pull the jig out and I'll move on to the next section. And this happens to still be wide. You can see it rattling there. So I grab my block and I'll move it down a couple, uh, couple uh, joists down and I'll screw it on there. Again, it's just a single screw and just leave it a little bit away from your deck board so that you can get your wonder bar in there. Crowbar will work too. Even a big screwdriver would probably work, but uh, one bar is nice and flat and it pulls it in. So you can see I pull it in there. I check to make sure it's snug. I uh, put my countersink hole in. And then I'll put a screw in there and that'll hold it. And once I get it in, again, I can release that. And then I'll go ahead and complete out the rest of my countersink holes. And I'll run my screws into those other three holes. In the field, I put two screws, and on the end, on the edges, I put three screws. Now here, you see that it's pushing the other way, so I just use my Wonder Bar to spread it apart, and just the torque on the wood will keep that um, deck board up against the jig so it's nice and snug. And I go ahead and put my screws in there after I've countersunk. See, it's a little snug, but it pulls right out. You can always use a little uh, pry bar to pop that out if it, it ends up being too tight. There, it's still a little uh, narrow, so I'm spreading it. And again, the board's holding the pressure up against that jig. The, the jig and um, countersink just help speed the um, time down so that you're not having to spend so much time on a deck. Uh, also, you see all the black tape on top of the um, joist. That's rafter tape. And here's the completed deck after I uh, finished it all. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope that was some good information for you. And I'll leave a link in the description for the rafter tape and the countersink bit that I used. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you'll do that and then click the bell icon. And then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.